Hi, I'm Matthew DeSero, and what I do is magic. But we're here with Hydrogenics, and what they do is for the real world. And it's mind blowing. Hey, we're here with uh, Joe Carnelli, Chief Technology Officer for Hydrogenics. I understand at Hydrogenics, you guys have made the world's most compact electrolyzer. Early this year, we unveiled a three megawatt electrolyzer single stack, which is the world's smallest and most power dense electrolyzer stack that can produce 1.3 metric tons of hydrogen per day. And so when we scale these stacks together, we're able to go from either a three megawatt power to gas system or we can scale up to 30 megawatts or 100 megawatt power to gas systems. So where's this stuff being used? Power to gas is being deployed by numerous countries around the world. Uh, due to the instability of wind uh, blowing on and off and solar energy coming on and off the grid, this creates a grid stabilization issue. As well, it also creates the need for large scale energy storage. And that's where power to gas has a tremendous advantage in its ability to store large amounts of utility scale energy. When wind blows, for example, in the evening, when we least need the electricity, uh, the grid operator ends up with an excess amount of electricity on the grid, and this becomes a problem for the grid operator. So power to gas is a tool for the grid operator to help control the grid so that when there is excess electricity on the grid, the grid operator is able to turn on our power to gas plant and absorb all of that excess electricity and convert it into hydrogen that then can be used to power our cars, our buses, our trains, or it can be injected into the natural gas network to be used at a later time frame. This is one company that does it all. Fuel cells for transportation, critical power, electrolyzers for hydrogen generation, and storage. Hydrogenics, the name companies around the globe rely on for some of the most innovative solutions. That's just the start. Check out our other videos of Hydrogenics Technology.